My next guest in the author studio is the extremely charming, award-winning Nigerian writer, Leah Adney. Just write what you know. It's a, it's a cliched one, but it helps you write what you know. It's easy motion tourist. Anytime, because I have a full-time job as well for now. Uh, so I tend to write after work in the evenings, entire weekends, which is why I don't have a life, but... <laughs> That's a very easy one. Uh, the earliest book that's inspired me is by a gentleman called Amos Tutuola. It's called um, uh, The Palm Wine Drinkard. Intentionally written in on grammatical English, even the title, The Palm Wine Drinkard. And then also there's been, um, uh, of recent, uh, the spiral came in from the cold. I love it. I think it's a perfectly written book. And um, I think those are the ones I'd pick, just because there's so many of them, but those two stand out for different reasons. Red wine. Well, I try to, I try to plan a chapter ahead in my head. So basically, I, I tend to know, I have a good idea what the plot is, but then I don't plan every chapter, I don't plan everything. And I only plan one chapter ahead, just when I'm about to start writing it, or well, maybe throughout the day, I'm thinking about that one chapter. And I'll say that's the only ritual I have, just planning, if you can call that a ritual. Yeah, ever since, uh, ever since I can remember, I've always written in school notebooks, exercise books, when I should have been studying. And in fact, my, my life, my childhood, is a library of uncompleted manuscripts with amazing titles like uh, Snake Island <laughs> and Scorpion Island as a part two of it. <laughs> I just sort of um, have a general idea what I want to talk about, a central theme and then I plan a chapter at a time. And so long as it's going uh, in the direction of the theme, I'm happy with it. But what, that, what then happens is it sort of grows a life of its own. And very often when I come to write the next chapter, it's almost like I'm, I'm discovering stuff as well. More, more learning about my characters and what they're up to than making them do stuff. What does it feel like being an African crime writer? <laughs> well, have you heard the parable of the African cupcakes? I want to, go on. It's like any other cupcake, but it's baked by a person who happens to be African. <laughs> yes, my, what would have been my very first novel, complete novel ever, uh, I wrote in longhand. I gave it to my mom so she could give it to her secretary to type and to word. It was in the days of the floppy disk. And that manuscript is lost. It was written as a, uh, it was written after I'd read The Famished Road by Ben Okri. I got to tell him about it recently at another panel. And um, yeah, that pains me. The Wanderer is, is lost. I'll try and rewrite it one day, I hope. Great to have you on, Leah. I really enjoyed sitting next to you recently, and I'm looking forward to reading more of your work.